We just had a consistory in Rome with cardinals from all over the world. We all anticipate this special day because it is the Sunday of Divine Mercy. In fact, we thought that this canonization would take place last year in the fall, but it was happily delayed. But after a discussion with the Holy Father who said that if it is not possible to have canonization in the fall, then we need to move it to the next year. And if in the next year, then on the first Sunday after Easter. It's amazing how it all fell into place. Blessed John Paul passed away and went to the Lord on Divine Mercy Sunday. He was beatified on Divine Mercy Sunday and now he is canonized on Divine Mercy Sunday. It is as though the Lord wanted to show that besides St. Faustina, there is another apostle of Divine Mercy, and that is John Paul II. Today we read his writings, his speeches, his publications, and we see that the mystery of the Divine Mercy permeates all his works. The spark that was to go out to the whole world, the spark of divine mercy did go out. And to a great extent, thanks to John Paul II. Because Sister Faustina, who died at the age of 33 and who lacked formal education, having hardly completed two winters of schooling, would not have been able to accomplish that much, even though she possessed infused knowledge so clearly manifested in her diary. What could she do, we ask? She was alone. God gave us another great apostle of divine mercy. So now we have two apostles of divine mercy. We can see that in Krakow Wagiewniki, on one side we have St. Faustina, and on the other, John Paul. People come from all over the world, the United States has always been open and connected with the message of the Divine Mercy, but now many other areas of the world are opening up to this message. For example, Asia, especially the Philippines and Korea, many pilgrims from all over the world are coming to us annually, both tourists and pilgrims who visit Krakow number over 12 million. What can we say? Poland is filled with joy, but not only Poland. All devotees of the Divine Mercy message, all the people who have known him, all are looking forward to the final proclamation and the raising to the honors of the altar of John Paul II as a saint on this 27th day of April.